Hello everyone, Cyber Dragon here. So, this part probably won't be super long. Uh, mainly due to the fact I was thinking of what the 500 subscriber special should be and how the story should go, but I realized I probably should have focused on what what if to do for this part, but fuck it, we're gonna wing it most of it anyway, so, yeah. Anyways, last time we left off, Deku and Kendo was at the dorms. Kendo is going to be taking care of Izuku for a little... Um, not Izuku. Well, yeah, Izuku with Deku. For a little while. Because, if you remember the last part, Deku went up against Nomu. He went berserk and, well, exhausted himself. So he needs a little more help around the house until he's at 100% again. So, yeah. Anyways, and the school was given a couple days off. Deku was given for, well, a couple, about a week until so that he can, uh, well, recover. And they got Kendo a week off as well, so that she can help them, him. And yeah, they established the dorm system. Uh, Kendo moved in ahead of time for this. And some of the other students also moved in because some lived far away, so... Yeah, and the others who didn't want to, well, didn't, but now they're asking all the parents to move in there. So, yeah, for them to move in there, so yeah. Well, let's cut to Deku and Kendo. It is the next day. Deku is finally waking up and tries to get up, but he's still exhausted. He falls immediately back onto the bed. Okay. This is going to be taking a while to get used to. And he notices Kendo is sleeping on the ground. He feels bad about this. That Kendo has to sleep on the ground while he sleeps in a bed. He said, Kendo, you awake? Yeah, I am now. See, you're awake. Yeah. He's looking down to his feet, like to the end of the bed. And Kendo is noticing he's a bit saddened. He, she asks him, are you okay, Zuku? So, yeah, it's, thanks. So, for what? So, well, it's taking care of me. I know this is a drag, and, well, that you had to sleep on the floor as well, so... But why are you taking care of me? She blushes a bit like, uh, what the friends should do. But, realistically, because she starts to have feelings for him. Hmm. Alrighty then. But I don't want you to sleep on the floor tonight. You can, Yumi can share the bed for the rest of the time until I get my strength back at least. She blushes heavily now. Like, uh, what? Are you sh sure? Like, yeah. But for now, let's get ready for the day. Yeah. And, uh, okay. So they do. Kendo makes some birthdays, and Deku just feels even worse about this. He doesn't like to make other people do this type of stuff for him. I mean, he cares for Izawa, he and Izawa care for each other, but he can't even pay her at the moment, like this. It just makes him think of the time when Izawa found him. So, which, he, it hits his pride a bit to knowing that he has to, well, do this again. Lie on someone else to take care of him. Because him and Azara, well, he doesn't have that mentality, like, like to ask people for help. But since Azara adopted him, he is given that he was willing to train at Deku, which Deku was appreciating, but knowing that he couldn't repay him back properly like this, so he 
does this for the class, for him in class, making sure everyone sticks in order in line. But as I told him not to, well, kind of make like a big deal out of this. He just want him to make sure he's strong for the future. So he will. And Deku accident. So, have the quirk kicked in yet? Is it? Hmm. Maybe. But we won't know until, well, after. You know, I'm actually realizing I messed that fucking sentence up. I'm gonna, I mean, to say, like, earlier, like, he knows, like, to hold down the strong who can't get strong. He cares for Aizawa and Kendo, the two people. Well, he respects and love. Well, kind of respect for now, but there's something going there. Well, Zara, well, he adopted him at a young age and took care of him, which he greatly appreciates. And he feels bad for holding her back right now. She should be training with All Might, not taking care of him, he thinks. And Deku finds it. Uh, ask the question again. Sorry. I know I'm messing this up, but I'm kind of tired. And it's been a long day. So I'll make this up to you somehow. But yeah, so. Thank you. So. After Kendo's done making breakfast. And they both sit down and eat. They're sitting across from each other. And Deku's looking down. Kendo's nurses look. Are you still upset about me sleeping on the floor? If it means that much, I'll sleep on the bed with you tonight. Which, T blushes after saying that, but like, it's not just that. He gets curious now, so what is it about then? Well, I feel like I'm holding you back. You should be training with All Might right now, not taking care of me. Sir, so, I don't even know why you are taking care of me. So. Because we're friends, Izuku, and friends should take care of each other. Hmm. I never really had a friend, I guess, then. So. Or at least a best friend, like you. If I could call you that, then. It, yeah, of course you can call me your best friend. Deku smiles at this. Well, not a big, like, showing teeth type smile, like a soft smile. And Kendo nurse are like, see, you're already feeling better already. Now stop being so grumpy. So, <laughs> all right. And yeah, I'm just gonna skip to later that night, which Deku and Kendo did just kind of hang out on the couch. Some of the other classes were there. I'm gonna mostly say the classes who were there was like. No one really important, like, as important, I would say. Tokoyami lives at Dorn. Shoji as well. I would say Umaraka because, you know, no rent needed. And, uh... You know, some just random people from 1A who was, th- was originally there, so... Other than Kendo and Deku. So yeah. But eventually the rest of 1A will move in there. It's just giving them a week off because of the US 3 attack. And for Deku as well too. Well. Get get, uh, his energy back. But yeah. It will be the end of the day. Deku and Kendo are in Deku's room. And you might be wondering, why isn't Kendo just sleeping in her own room? Well, she wants to make sure Deku is good and all. Just in case if he needs anything or just not to leave him alone at the moment, basically. But Deku didn't realize she had a place of... She forgot she had, she had a place of her own, so, but still. 
Is it? Alright. Let's get to bed then, Kendo. Uh, uh, yeah. You alright? Uh, yeah. I don't know, this is embarrassing, but... Hey, if you want, you could go to your room if you don't really want to stay here. But no, I want to stay here. So, okay then, get in bed. He <laughs> said that without hesitation. And she blushes even a bit more red. But y you didn't even hesitate. <laughs> like, you should know me by now, Kendo. Uh, I have my dad's, like, attitude most of the time. So it gets straight to the point. And she's like, yeah. So, fine, scoot over then. He does, and they're laying back to back. Kendo in a deep as red blush. While Deku, a soft blush, but still a blush. Like, I'm laying next to a girl. That I have starting to have feelings for. If my dad knew, he'd be proud right now. <laughs> like, proud dad as Zawa. <laughs> proud uh, dad Zawa. <laughs> and Deku turned around, like, hey, Kendo. Like, yeah, Izuku. And he just hugs her from behind. She blushes even further, like, uh, what I am, and like, he just don't ruin this. And he's like, uh, okay. And they just lay there for, in silence for a couple of seconds. Then Deku finally said, I wanted to thank you for taking care of me. So, even though we hardly know each other for that long, I feel like I can trust you. And. She is still blushing, but light less of a red, but like, she just doesn't say anything. So, you're not gonna say anything? No. I don't really think there was anything else to say after that. So, maybe you're right. Let's go to bed. So, yeah, you still gonna hug me, I guess? Yep, just gonna stay like this. It's nice. And in her mind, like, I can't deny that. So she just accepts it and they both fall asleep like that. How far is it? You didn't see Gamma. Yeah, so this goes on for a couple more days or so. Finally, Deku gets his strength back. Now, you might be wondering, why is it taking so long for Deku to get his strength back, even though he's anti-Venom? Well, this was the first time he went this, like, furiously of anti-Venom, so it would be costly draining to him. But I will say that it only took him, since the day of the USJ, to now... Four days. Four days at max. To recover all of his strength. But he's also noticed he got a boost in strength as well. A small one, but still a boost. I believe I said the second stage no moves will give him 10% while the... Actually, no, wait, 5% while the set first gen no moves, like the ones that are really weak, only give him a 1% boost. Well, the high advanced no moves will give him 20. I think that... Or oh, 10% boost. So, if I'm wrong, please comment down below. It's been a while, but yeah. But anyways. Deku said, hey Kendo, I got to my strength back, so... You can go back into your room if you want to. I mean the back of his neck. Like, and she's like, um... Yeah, so it's, it's gonna be weird without you next to me. Well, if you want, I can sleep in your room tonight. Having a bit of a more red blush. And she's thinking, wait, why is he blushing? But she's also blushing without realizing it. Because he's gotten used to sleep next to Kendo, and Kendo's also gotten used to sleeping next to Deku. Uh, 
sure, Izuku. But I probably should go and train with All Might first. Like, yeah. Do you mind if I come with? She's a, no, I don't mind. And I don't think All Might would either. As a matter of fact, I think he might think it'd be a good idea to have a, a person to heal me up just in case. Like, yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. So, they go. They go to the place where All Might tell them to m tell Kendo to meet them at. And All Might turns around like, Ah, oh, young Miss Kendo and young Sus Aizawa. How are you today? So, I'm fine, All Might. And I'm here to watch Kendo just in case if anything happens. This is something new for her, so she might have some backlash from the quirk. Ah, understandable. Now, Kendo, are you ready to train? I think, yes I am, All Might. And good. Now, try to throw a Tempest and sm uh, Try to throw a Smash. And I will say Kendo... I don't know how long she's been training for, so let's say 5 to 10%. 15 is her max until she's... I'm not really sure if I'm getting these ratios weirded up, but, you know, it's still... Actually, 10 is my max, and 15 will really push the muscles and bones, so... But, yeah, so, because, as I said, I don't know how much she X trains, so... Ooh, I think 5 to 10% will be good. But she doesn't monitor the power. Her quirk only affects her hands, so this is new to her. Which she does throw a smash, but doesn't know how to alternate the power exactly. She might know how to do it for her hands, but she doesn't get full cowling so early. Which she screams in pain because she threw a hundred percent smash. Which Deku runs up to Kendo, like, give me your arm real quick. And she lifts up what has a mangled part of her arm left, and Deku just heals it. It stings for a moment, but he, um, uh, so he healed it up. Like, there. So, you should be good for now. And Kenna said, thanks, Izuku. But you shouldn't really be healing me like this. You just recovered. Like, don't worry, Ken, though. I, if I can recover once, I can recover again. I just don't want to see you hurt. But she blushes after the look up. Thanks, Izuku. Anytime. Uh, hmm, probably should have told you to monitor the power. And Deku just gives him a desert there, like, as hour, like, yeah, you think? Which sends a bit of shivers and all my spine. Yeah. So, uh, y yes. So, like, uh, all my, if you don't mind, can I give some tips to Kendo? So, like, uh, no problem. Uh, okay, no. Uh, so, you might want to let the quirk flo has flow through you. So, like, what? So, what are you talking about? So, well, oh, uh, I don't know. He doesn't do this yet. Like, you might want to monitor the power level first. Focusing, uh, focus on a limb first, and focus the amount of power you do. So let's imagine, like, your hand. How big you want it, or how small you want it. It doesn't really do much. It will do something like that. So you might as well make sure the power isn't too big, you might say. And she's like, oh, I, I think I'm getting it then. And she only focuses 5% in the arm. So, but, so, Deku did mention, like, hmm, since if your hand can grow, you might be able to focus more into that than the rest of your body. Which, all might agrees with that. I'm not really sure how much specifically... Well, let's say she can do 20% and only her hands when they're at full size. I think that's a little low, but at the same time, they're giant hands, so fuck it. 
But yeah, so Tia does focus her quirk, and both quirks, only on her hands, though. Which makes them grow. And I don't know if they would evolve her quirk in any sense of the way. Like, making her have a gigantic... A giganticism... Ah. A gigantification quirk or not after... All, one for all doesn't that, but... I don't know. I want you guys to comment if you want Kendra's quirk to evolve or not. Or just stick to having big hands. But, either way. So, throughout that day, Kendo and Deku and All Might trained. Mostly helping Kendo with One For All. Helping her focus on the percentage wise for now. And then eventually, full cowing. Or full body percentage. But, yeah. And later that night, Kendo walks to her room like, Hey, Ken, though. Uh, uh, yeah, Izuku? So, I did say I was going to sleep in your room tonight, so. I'm coming with you. And. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. And they go to her room. Some of the other classmates saw that both of them were heading to the same room. And some of them are grinning ear to ear, like, we're gonna tease them so much with this later on. Because Mina isn't there yet, but they're gonna wait until Mina moves into the door and Susan embarrasses them. Which... They get in the same position they've been in every night. And no, that's just cuddling, nothing else. Well, Deku's hung- oh yeah, they're cuddling. It's... At this point, they're not really embarrassed about this at this point. Well, at least Deku isn't. Kendo is still a little embarrassed. And they said, you know, you're still embarrassed about us sleeping in the same bed, aren't you? And he's like, uh, yeah, but are you not? I don't know, like, it's actually nice. So, so sleeping next to you. He's just dozing off to sleep, not even thinking what he's saying at this point. But she thought this is a deep red, like, so, wait, what do you mean by that, Izuku? So, I figured it was obvious at this point. So, I guess you have, I have to wait until you figure it out. Which, it's obvious to him at this point that he likes Kendo. But he does, he wants to wait until he sees if Kendo likes him back. Which, Kendo is thinking... Overthinking this now, like, okay, what does he mean by this? Uh, we're just good friends, right? Right? Yeah. And, yeah, I think that's where I'm going to end it off. I know this is on the short side, but it's... I do have school and work tomorrow. And, uh, I will work on some of the other what-ifs here soon. But, soon enough, uh, I've already decided what the next what-if is. And now let me tell you, I have to make another board, like, actual album to make the next What If. Yeah, that's how big it's going to be. And I'm getting some photos from other people, so, yeah, but I'm going to, I'm going to tell you guys in a later update. Maybe tomorrow, who knows. But anyways, Cyber Dragon out. Peace.